So let's look at some of the shortcuts now and what they can do. So the first one is the Windows key on your keyboard, keeping that down plus the letter I. And you'll see what that immediately does is that opens up your settings. So that's a shortcut to your settings. Now, if I use the Windows key again and I press the print screen button on the keyboard, what it's going to do is it's going to save a screenshot and you can see what just happened. And if I open PowerPoint and I just paste, you can see it's taken a screenshot and it's saved it until I'm ready to paste. Okay, let's look at the next one. Control, Shift and Escape. And that is going to open up the Task Manager. So that's Control, Shift and Escape. And then between these windows, if I use my Alt button and I press Tab, just press it once, you can see what it does. It brings up a window showing me everything that I've got here. And then I can toggle just by continuing to press Tab. I can just toggle through these different windows. Go to that one. Go to the next one. Like that. So that's Alt and Tab. Then if I've got a number of windows open and I just want to minimize everything, I just want to go straight to my desktop, my Windows key plus D takes me all the way back to my desktop. And if I want to go back, I just press the same shortcut again, Windows key plus D, and it'll take me back to where I was. So it doesn't shut down anything. It's just minimizing everything. And then if I want to lock my PC, I can just go Windows L and you'll see that will lock my PC and I'll just have to sign in again. So as you can see, these are just a few shortcuts that can help you work even more efficiently with your PC.